Adventures of Jungle Jim. The Adventures of Jungle Jim, broadcast weekly over this station, are dramatized from the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement that comes to you each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who make their weekends more enjoyable reading the world's greatest comic and adventure pictures by the world's best artists. Featured in every issue of the Comic Weekly. Insist on the Sunday newspaper that brings you the Comic Weekly. Judith, Karnak's niece, is grief-stricken over the death of her uncle, Karnak. Jungle Jim does his best to console her and has almost succeeded when Kolo shouts the warning that the bloodthirsty headhunters who are loyal to Karnak, are surrounding the island. Here is Judith's big chance to avenge the death of her uncle by allowing Jungle Jim, Lil, and Kolo to be captured by the headhunters. But Judith proves her loyalty to Jungle Jim by leading him to a huge trapdoor carefully concealed by an overgrowth of grass and bushes. The trapdoor covers a tunnel entrance, which in turn leads into a great cave, and there, riding at anchor, is Karnak's powerful motor launch. The launch is well stocked with fuel, food, guns, and ammunition. And the foursome lose no time in boarding the boat and heading out to open water through the treacherous channel of the cave. In the meantime, the fierce old chief has sent a landing party to scout the island, and when the scouts return... What news you bring of the white people, my son? All gone. Boyos, look everywhere. Ah. White people, all gone. No sign. No trail. Ah. All gone like earth open. Swallow them. Ah. Cannot be, my son. White people no leave island by boat. Our war canoes all round island. No see them. White people no take big flying bird. Must be hiding. No, my father. Warriors hunt slow. Beat bush. Look in tree. No see. White people hide in great white father's big house. No, my father. Great white father hut burn. All ashes. Look for bodies. No find them. White people must be here, my son. Cannot swim like fish in water or fly like bird in sky. No take boat or canoe. White people hide here. Warriors hunt well, my father. Smallest animal, no not be see. White people, no not be see. White men not have magic. Still on island. Someone war canoes to come closer. Hunt shore. Hunt good. White people must be found. Spirit of great white father will guide us. I go out to war canoes, hunt all water. You go with warriors, hunt again, must find white people. Avenge the great white father. In the meantime, Jungle Jim, Shanghai Lil, Judith, and Kolu in the powerful motor launch slowly steer their way through the torturous caverns. Up ahead, they can see the opening of the cave, and suddenly Jim cuts off the powerful motor. What's the matter, Jim? Did the motor fail it? No, Lil, I cut it off purposely. Look up there ahead through the opening of the cave. Watch closely. War canoes. Uh -huh. Those headhunters are waiting for us. I'm sure they don't know about this cave or the boat. How could they be waiting for us? That's just it. They don't know about the boat or the cave. But those canoes filled with headhunters have completely circled the island to guard against any chance of escape by water. In the meantime, they've probably landed a party of warriors who are searching the island for us. So they got us completely cut off. Up above this cave, the island is swarming with them. And out there, the water is alive with war canoes. And that's why I cut off this motor. They could hear us coming when we got nearer to the mouth of the cave. Uh-huh. Once they heard the motor, they'd come in to investigate, find the opening, block it with their canoes, and... Well, that would be our finish. Then it looks pretty hopeless, Mr. Bradley. No matter what we do, we're cut off from escape. No, Miss Judith, it isn't hopeless. Ask Lil. We've been in tighter spots than this and got away. Yeah. And we haven't had a good fast motorboat with guns and ammunition to help us either. And we got one good advantage. We can see them, but so far they can't see us. Well, what do you figure on doing, Jim? Waiting until it gets dark again before you make a dash for it? Not on your life. If I'm going to pilot this, I want to see where I'm going. I don't want to hit anything when this boat is going at top speed. Say, Colo, can you reach that long boat hook? Uh, yes, Twan. It'd be here inside. Okay. Take it out and push us along. I want to get closer to the mouth of that cave and try to find out just how many war canoes there are out there. Yes, Juan. Water here, not deep. 
Throw the push boat along. And the tide has changed and it's going out. Mm-hmm. We can drift with it. Two good automatic rifles back here, Jim. Maybe we could shoot our way out. No, 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 Lil. I would bring them all in in a hurry. We'd never get far enough away from this cave to get into open water. Maybe they're not guarding the water out there. They may land later on, and that would give us clear sailing. No, no, I don't think they'll land. If the natives on the island don't find us, they'll keep guard on the water. For fear that we may take a chance and swim. Wait a minute. Well, I can see four canoes from here, paddling around out there. Huh? They're staying pretty close together, too. Yeah. If they'd only break up and separate, we might have a chance to slip through. All right, Colo. This is as far as we can go right now. Hold the boat against the side of the cave. We'll wait here and see what happens. Maybe if some of those canoes move away, we can make a dash for it. Up above on the island, the headhunters have carefully searched every inch of ground looking for the white people who so suddenly disappeared. Once again, they found no trace of them, and the scout reporting the failure to the old chief, who was beginning to think the white men must have some magic which helped them disappear. Then suddenly, a triumphant shout went up from the warriors that brought the chief running. My son, what is it? See, father. Grass here dead. Warriors throw away. Find this. See. Wood here. Yeah. This be door. Lift up. Maybe white man hide here. <laughs> See, ladder here. Yeah. White people go down. All dark. No see. Uh, get grass. Bind together. Make fire torch. Look in cave. Have torch. I go, father. See what below. Go, my son. Spirit of great white father, guard you. Big cave. Down here. White people crop. Go! Send warriors! We hunt white man! Good, my son. Warriors, go down. Help! You find white man. Go, my warriors. Follow my son down cave. Hunt white man. Avenge great white father! Go, my son. You hunt white man in big cave. You no find? No, my father. We hunt long tunnel in big cave. White man's traps lead to water. Stop. White men have hide boat. Ah. Take boat through long cave river. Ah, good, my son. We send warriors to warn our war canoe. Seek opening to cave. Send war canoes in. Keep warriors in cave, too, father. Ah. Catch white man, he go back. Ah. Warriors front, warriors back. White man, no get away. Good, my son. Go back to cave. I go to war canoes to find cave. This time we catch white men, and heads of white men will be a sacrifice to the spirit of the great white father. <laughs> Hidden in the shadows at the mouth of the cave, Jungle Jim, Shanghai Lil, Judith, and Kolo anxiously watch for their chance to slip through the line of war canoes into open water. But suddenly, a new danger threatens them from the rear. Well, Jim, listen. Well, we hear something way back in cave. Listen to us. You're right, Kolo. The voice of the natives. You know what that means. They found the trap door in the entrance to the cave. They climbed down that ladder and have followed our trail to the boat landing. Well, there's still plenty of water between us and those headhunters, so there's not much danger of them attacking us unless they can get some boats down there. I'm not so sure we're so safe from them with that. Those crazy headhunters don't need boats. That's right. They're all strong swimmers, and if enough of them start swimming down here, they can attack us from both sides. Look, Tuan. She likes down there. Headhunters have torch. Listen, Olu. Whatever you do, keep your eyes on the water back there. Watch it like a hawk. Those fellows are good swimmers. They can dive and swim underwater. You watch that end, and I'll keep my eyes open for a break out into the open water. Seems to me, Jim, there are more canoes now than there were a little while ago. Look, 
Hmm? They seem to be ganging up out there in front of this cave. Do you suppose those natives in the cave have given the alarm to the others out in the water? And they're closing in on us? Well, that could be, Judith. Although those canoes are pretty well out. and I don't appear to be getting any closer yet. Listen, Tuan. I think I hear something back in cave. Maybe native swimming. Yes, I believe you're right, Colo. Those headhunters may tackle us from the rear. Look, look, Jim. Hmm? Those war canoes are turning and heading in this way. Okay, then, Will. That settles it. Now, listen. We'll have to make a dash for it. Boy, oh, boy, here's hoping the motor doesn't fail us. Colo. Yes. Push us out in the middle of the channel. Then grab one of those automatic rifles and get ready to use it. You girls get well down where spears and arrows can't get you. Now, hang on, everybody. All set, Colo? All ready, Swan. Okay. Here we go. They're beginning to scatter now. They see we're headed right for him. She's wide open now. Kim! Kim, look out! Take it out! Hang on, everybody! We're headed for the crash! And the speedy motorboat, roaring along at a terrific speed, its bow shooting out of the water, hurls itself into the midst of the headhunter's war canoes. One frail native craft fails to dodge fast enough, and with disastrous results, for the sharp knife-like bow of the motorboat cuts clean through the middle of the canoe, cutting it in half and throwing the screaming natives into the water. But what are the occupants of the motorboat? Don't miss the next exciting episode in the adventures of Jungle Jim. Remember, you can follow these adventures in the full-color action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement containing the best full-color adventure and comic pictures. Remember, no other comic supplement can give you the top names of cartoon land like the list of all-star favorites to be found in the Comic Weekly. The whole family follow the fun and frolics of Popeye the Sailor, Tilly the Toiler, Barney Gogol and the Little King, the impish antics of Skippy, the Cats and Yarmie Kids, the immortal Mickey Mouse, as well as the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who every week find the greatest of home entertainment in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim will be heard at the same time next week over the same station. Be sure to tune in. <laughs>